India had been using Afghan soil against Pakistan since 2001 by investing about $3 billion on infrastructure, training of Afghan forces and other projects to establish a network for its permanent foothold and to achieve its overt and covert designs. According to experts, by sponsoring terrorism against Pakistan from Afghan territory, India had violated various articles of the United Nations Charter including Article 2, 4, Article 41, 3, of the Vienna Convention and Paris 2 and 5 of UN Security Council Resolution 1373 of 2001. However, as the Taliban recaptured Afghanistan with an interim government now in place, Indian designs turned into faux pas for the Modi's government which had acted as top spoiler of regional peace. It has been established that India supported and trained HTTP elements to use as proxy tools for its nefarious designs against Pakistan, Afghanistan and the region. Under the garb of training Afghan forces, it had trained Daesh and TTP elements and reportedly around 300 persons were still under training in India. For this purpose, different Indian consulates were established along the Pak-Afghan border, controlled and used by Indian intelligence agency, RA, as launching pads for terrorist activities inside Pakistan. India planned terrorist activities like Gurdwara attacks, Lahore blast, Gwadar attack to discredit Pakistan and try to harm Pak-China relations. Kalb Harshan Jadav, the serving Indian army officer, had also confessed to series of terrorist activities planned and controlled from Afghanistan. India continuously acted as spoiler in Afghanistan and influenced Ashraf Afghani's government to violate agreements to sabotage the peace process and embarked upon anti-Taliban and anti-US propaganda with immense intensity, especially after the fall of Kabul. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi, after a conclusion of his recent four-nation tour to Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, and Iran, had reiterated India's spoiler role in Afghanistan. In a press statement issued after his return to Pakistan, Qureshi maintained that New Delhi topped the list of spoilers who did not wish to see stability and peace in Afghanistan. India had brought together several terrorist organizations to fulfill its evil designs, he added. The Indian false propaganda turned out by its media, focused on so-called allegations of human rights violations by the Taliban, targeting of Afghan women and children, female education and employment, and execution of opposition segments.